Greater Moncton Airport, also known as Greater Moncton Romeo LeBlanc International Airport by Stairport and published by Aerosoft, is located in Dieppe, a few kilometers from downtown Moncton. Moncton is one of three major urban centers in the Canadian province of New Brunswick and is a hub for ground shipping companies such as Midland due to its central location in Atlantic Canada. The airport has two runways, 06 and 24, and 11 and 29 serving both regional airlines and cargo, with destinations to Halifax, Montreal, Ottawa, Quebec City, St. John's, and Sydney. In addition, it hosts hangars for FedEx, Pure Layer, UPS, a truck depot for Midland, and is the home of the Moncton Flight College. Stairport have added a lot of details to this airport, including making the buildings recognizable. The lines and markings on the tarmac are well done. I like the addition of the Air Canada CRJ parked at the terminal, and that's obviously Aerosoft promoting their upcoming plane. The gate side of the terminal is visually appealing, but not everything is rosy here. There are a lot of small little things missing even after its first update. Front parking lot looks washed out, blurry, with low res textures. Front entrance is quite dark, no available tug for pushback, no fueling options, terminal interior is bare, and from the outside looks quite basic in night lighting. The perimeter fencing is missing pretty much 90% of the airport. There's missing runway guard lights at all hold short lines, and runway 29 should only have one windsock rather than two. Most of these can be fixed in future updates, but coming out of the gate like this after one update, it calls into question the pricing of $18 US or $21 Canadian. If you're looking to add a Canadian airport to your collection, I would pass on Moncton. However, if you are local and plan to fly in and out of this airport quite often, I would pick this up. There are already two handcrafted versions of this airport, this one from Stairport at $21 Canadian and the other from Sim Add-ons at $24, which is of lower quality. I don't think there will be a third developer wanting to design this airport as it's quite niche and it's not your New York City or LA. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. If you have any questions or comments about this airport, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in our next video.